we will discuss transradial approach for addressing renal artery stenosis. Renal artery intervention is well established through femoral as well as the radial route. It is important to understand that most of the patients are having significant hypertension which is uncontrolled even on maximal medication and that is why the radial route should be a preferred route to avoid local vascular complication rate as compared to femoral route. And secondly, the origin of renal arteries from the abdominal aorta, if you go from the upper limb that is through radial, the catheter alignment is always having better coaxiality as compared to the femoral route. This is a case of right renal artery osteal stenting using left transradial approach. The renal artery ostium was cannulated using a 6F JR4 guide catheter and the lesion was profiled. The lesion was then stented in usual fashion. This is the final result. It is important to understand that in taller patients having height more than 175 centimeters, it is a good idea to select left transradial route for addressing infradiaphragmatic lesions and make sure that you puncture high in the left radial artery. Higher puncture will save 7 to 10 centimeter of the length and if you are working through left transradial approach, you are eliminating about 10 to 15 centimeter length of arch of aorta. This means that by using the regular hardware, you can fix most infradiaphragmatic lesions if you choose left transradial approach, particularly in tall patients. This is a case of right renal artery mid-segment stenosis which was stented using right transradial approach. The lesion is profiled now. This is another view showing the lesion. Stenting in progress. This is a good end result. This is another view showing the result.